Hello, and welcome back to Night Child Reviews. Um, if you could just do me a small favour, this is a new camera, so if you can hear the sound okay, could you just drop me a comment in the uh, box below just to let me know that the sound levels are okay, because I'm just tweaking about with all the uh, configurations. That said, what I want to talk to you about today is the possibility of getting a Prince concert onto Netflix. Now, I, this is something I desperately would love to happen. There's been no news about it, and I think it's something that really would benefit the whole Prince community. Obviously, there's the Prince documentary, which was going to be directed by Ava DuVernay, but she stepped aside, and now, you know, it's hopefully going to come out at some point, and we really look forward to that, and it'll be interesting to see what shape that takes, and, you know, we'll look at that with interest. But I think at the moment, just getting a Prince concert onto Netflix would be so fantastic. There are so many people who are unaware of the amazing, you know, remarkable talent of Prince's live performances. And I think this is a great way to attract a new generation of Prince admirers. Um, lots of artists have, you know, a lot of young uh, sort of admirers of their music coming through. And I don't know if I see that so much with Prince. And I think part of it is because we are not really establishing his live legacy uh, in a way that lots of people can find accessible. And I think by putting a concert on Netflix, which is such a fantastic first step, you know, in an ideal dream world, we'd have a concert that we haven't seen before, perhaps a piano and microphone 2016, or the London O2 shows, the 21 night shows, or even a Diamonds and Pearl show. Or there's so many great tours that Prince did that any of them would just draw a fantastic response from people watching them on, on streaming platforms. Now, I understand that the estate might say, well, we want to keep those concerts for the deluxe and super deluxe versions and I understand that that's fine but then why not put a concert on Netflix which you've already released there's nothing to stop you putting Sign of the Times on there there's nothing to stop you putting say for example uh, The Undertaker now, The Undertaker fantastic VHS hardly anyone who's a non you know anyone who's not really into prints has seen that and that'd be fantastic to really show off Prince's virtuosity and genius as a guitar player. So why not get that on there? Um, you can also release Raven to the Joy Fantastic. You could put Live at the Aladdin, just something that's already out there. That costs you nothing whatsoever. And obviously Netflix would pay, you know, a decent chunk of change for that uh, privilege. They'd pay a lot of money to the estate. It's a quick win, it doesn't cost them anything, and it draws in that new generation of Prince and Myra's. So ideally, yes, let's get Montreux out there. Montreux is good to go, it costs them nothing. It's not, you know, fantastic quality. Montreux is good to go. Get that onto the streaming services, get that onto Netflix. Montreux, the three nights in 2013, let them see Prince as a band leader, as, you know, a, a, a fantastic showman, as a great guitarist. We can get those things out there instantly. And like I say, failing that, get our concert that's already out there. It's a great way of attracting a buzz, and whether it's on Netflix, whether it's on Amazon Prime, whether it's on Hulu or whatever, I think we really need to reach out to people and say, look, this guy was an amazing live performer. And I think this is such an easy way to do that, to really raise the profile, crack a bit of buzz around print. So let me know what you think. Do you think that we should you know, hope and, and, and really desire to get Prince's concerts onto Netflix or Amazon Prime or whatever? And if we did, what would you want on there? Would you want a piano and a microphone? Would you want Montreux? Or would you be happy with the Sign of the Times or a Purple Rain tour or Diamonds of Pearls? Would you want something that hasn't been released? Or are you happy just to see anything Prince related, any, any concert on there? So please let me know your thoughts below in the comments. Thank you.